Hey guys, so what we have here is Amanda with her lovely Kerry Blue. We've got Rex here, um, meant to be very dog aggressive. And we're going to see now that Amanda is coming out first with her. They've got two Kerry Blues. One is not got any issues whatsoever, which is this one. So you're going to come over here with, with her and we're going to observe how, how dad controls, right? Okay, good. Now we can see real issue. Okay, so bring him further away. Okay, okay. So one also one thing to remember is in, in a dog world, especially when a dog is attached to you, position is very important. Whoever's in front, keep him there. Whoever's in front's in charge. So you can't spend a walk, Rex. You can't spend a walk with him taking you for a walk, and then you turn round and you see a dog and you go, hey hey, follow me. And he goes, but you've been following me for the last half hour. Why should I listen to you? So the dog, when it's on the walk. They should, they should be mastering the walk. So the dog should be beside or behind you with you. That takes about 80% of the issue away straight away. Okay? And, and as soon as I touch the harness, you see it? Compared to the slip lead. Okay? And then he's like, oh, I know what that is. Yeah, bring it on. Like he was like, yeah, I love that. Because that's all he knows, right? So. All I want you to do initially is just keep like that sort of distance and just walk by. I just want to see how you manage and control that. So see how physical it is? See how physical it is? And walk on a wee bit more and then turn and do it again. And this is kind of how you would manage it the moment you would, you would just walk by like that. Is that right? Okay, wow. Okay, come back again. The funny thing is, this is by other trainers. It's meant to be seen as positive. <laughs> it's just unbelievable. What do you think about that, Rex? Eh? Look, his feet aren't even on the ground, aren't even yeah. on the ground, are they? So he's not in a very healthy state of mind. He's definitely just got a habit there of, this is what I do. Okay. Uh -huh. So that's good, I get to see, apart from your other wee one. Look, your other one's like, she's like, what's going on, man? Hello, darling. She's like, for goodness sake, can't we all just get along? Is what she's saying. Hey, Rexy, can't we all just get on? He is a hundred percent up for it. Everything right now, he's like, bring it on. He just he wants to fight right now, you know. Yeah. Nothing more than I just. He's not afraid. He's not. He just like. Now we don't know where it could it stemmed from. He could have got a fright one time and he then defended himself. He could have just got too excited one time and then thought I'm going to defend myself. So you don't want to pet him right now, Dad, because he's being bad. Yeah. You know. So it's just like. He's trying to fight him, and I go, "Good boy." You're like, "What are you telling him, good boy, for?" You know. Yeah. So distraction means it's okay to be fixated. What you're saying is, instead of being fixated on the dog, be fixated on me. But what you're doing is you're giving him more affection while he's washing your car with stones, and then you're going to wonder why he keeps washing your car with stones, right? So you're rewarding an unwanted behaviour. So you're just going to get more unwanted behaviour. Okay, so this is good. I just, this is just to get to see what you've got. Can you walk by one more time? That's what Rex thinks about it, eh, pal? So this is a dog that was worth about 100 grand. Right, and see how he's reacting? Okay. No, Rex, well, he's reacting with calmness. He's, re he's reacting kind of almost like her, like, what are you doing, you weirdo? Rather than feeling he has to react. That's what happens when you have leadership as well as love. Because right now he's just trying to lead and the human tries to give love to control the unwanted behaviour. And when that happens, um, people go, I love my dog, but he's aggressive or he's this or he's that. So a dog lover only rewards the state of mind the dog has. It doesn't change the state of mind. Our goal is to actually, I love you. That's why I'm not letting you act this way. I love you. That's why you've got a curfew. That's why I'm not letting you hang around with that friend. Yeah. Because I love you. So the rules are because you love them. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay.